guys, what's up? To the Sonia show, and today, um, well, I am going to be showing you if you guys have like any roll, toilet roll. I mean, um, the napkin rolls. You can reel them. I'm going to show you what to make. So, by users, have how to make um, stethoscopes. I don't know what they're called, but so let's just get right into. Before I show you guys first. Um, I want to tell you to, if you guys want to know how to make this thing, well, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell and like this video. Alright, let's go. Okay, that was just a couple Okay, let me, so, like, something you're going to need is this. You're going to need any kind of color, uh, construction paper. So, just go in here. Um, um, to our paper station. We've got papers. Any kind of color will be fine. I'm going to be using maybe like pink. So, because pink is my favorite color. Let me just find a pink here. Oh my goodness. I cannot. But do you know where the pink paper is? There's no pink paper. Oh, there we go. I got my construction paper. So the first step you're gonna do is just grab your toilet paper. I mean, you're, um, so I'm gonna, next you're gonna want like, if you're doing this on the table, then you're not gonna need it. I'm gonna go get a book or something to do it. Then, okay. Okay, now I got this, this bird book. I mean, um, so you're just gonna set that down, place your paper, construction paper on there, and if you don't have color paper, you can just use white paper. That's okay. And now you're gonna design your paper. So I'm gonna be using markers. So we just go get the markers. Okay. Alrighty, guys, I'm back and. These are the markers we have, um, and we do have permanent markers, and colorful permanent markers. Um, so you can use a, a permanent markers to colorful markers. So let's just get started coloring. Okay, so, um, so, um, you guys can draw whatever you want on this part. I'm gonna be drawing hearts and flowers and everything, but. If you guys want to do what I'm doing, then you guys can do it. So, I'll be showing you guys what I do if you guys want to see. So, I'm going to be using this black. I'm just going to be making flowers everywhere. So, let's do it. Alright. So, I'm going to use this black for all the circles. So, here we go. Okay, so there's one circle, and I'm just going to do that through the whole page. Whoa. I think I made the circle way too big. Oh, gosh. Sorry, guys. I did mess up, so I'm gonna go get a pencil this time. Alright, I'm back. Alright. 
highlights. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the circles again. And I flipped over the page a few recently. Because I really messed up on that. So I decided on doing this one with pencil. So let's just go ahead and make all those eight circles. If you guys need help, then just pause this video, always, and the thing is to have fun. Okay, so I think this might be enough circles, do you guys think so? So now I'm just going to take a sharpie, the black sharpie, and I'm going to trace those all up. So see you guys when I'm done. Funny. Okay, now the next one. Oh, this is going to turn out so pretty. Alright, next one. And the last one. And we're done. Okay, now, let's go ahead and color these in. So, I'm going to be using the... Um, in the inside or brown which one oh man what should i use hmm. oh yeah if you guys want to see this is how it turned out like okay so what color should i use oh i have a better idea i should do them like this there's three flowers there's six of those and i can use it because there's three for three each so here we go so if you guys are doing the same thing, you're doing orange, yellow, and brown. So, so I'm going to start off brown on the first circle. Ooh. I think I'm just going to do them all brown. Sorry about that guys, I made a so many. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, they'll be fine. Okay. I think I'm going to use all my brown. Oh my goodness. Okay, next I'm going to do yellow. Oh, that yellow looks like an orange. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay, for now the petals, I'm going to be using these three colors with matching them up. So I decided using brown with yellow like a sunflower. And then with the orange, I decided using um, brown. And then like a Halloween color kind of match. And with the yellow, I decided using orange. So let's just get into it. Okay, like I said, with the brown, I'm going to use yellow, so let's go ahead and do it. And yes, if you guys are asking, um, do we color in the petals? You want to, you want, you can color it in. Um, if you do not want to, you don't have to. But I'm going to see how it looks without colored. Okay, how do you guys think it looks without color? I think it looks really pretty, so I'm not going to color them in. If you guys want to color them in, you can go ahead and color them in. I'm not the one who's picking for you guys. You guys make your own decision because you're yourself. I'm not you. Okay. Now, 
so this is not so far how my paper is looking a little pretty so now with the yellow i'm going to be using orange oh that looks so pretty Okay, so my orange one did turn out a little bad, as you can see that little part, but it's okay. So I'm just going to do my other yellow. Hopefully that doesn't do it to the other one, because I really love these sunflowers. That one's really pretty. Yay, it didn't happen. It turned out perfect. So all four done, and now let's just go ahead and the brown and the petals with the orange. So this looks really Halloween-y, I noticed, but it's not even Halloween, and I don't know why I'm using these colors, but I thought they would look really pretty, so I thought of using these colors. And if, sorry if I didn't use more, because I brought the black ribbon for no reason, but Actually, I needed the marker bin because the permanent markers are in the bin. Okay. Okay, and I'm done with finishing the flowers. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paper and just put it right here set it the paper down um you're gonna want it backwards and you're gonna set the paper just this like this and make it even and the there's a little thing there um i'll show you guys just what to do so you're gonna grab some scissors so let me just go grab some scissors Now you're going to take your scissors and just cut the um, parts out where it's uneven. Make sure you um, as you measure it out before you cut that or it's going to be really bad. Oh no. I just noticed that if I cut it, oh gosh, it's fine. If I cut that, the petal will be there. That's yeah, fine. Oh, I'm saying there you did it. Look at that, guys. Woohoo! Alrighty. Now, now that you got your paper torn in, we're just gonna do the same thing. So, here we go. Just gonna roll it up. Like oh yeah, first before I do this, you never want to forget your tape. Because you're going to be taping today. So I've got tape. If you guys don't have tape, you can use any kind of tape. You guys have it. So um, make sure you do this really wisely because, um, okay, so... Maybe. Oh, I did it wrong way. Yeah, no, I did not. Why is this not working out? Hmm. It's a little bit way too long again. It's still too long, so I'm going to have to cut a little bit more. No. So now I wind it up. Yeah, it didn't cut all of it. Where did it cut it? Okay, does it look even cutting? I don't think so over in the middle. So let me just cut it. Now 
we're just going to place it on top and make sure it's even. Yes, all of mine are even. And now you're going to just roll it halfway. Just roll it one. Make sure you really tighten it. And now, if you're doing this by yourself or with someone, if you're doing it with someone, you can let them hold it. Or if you don't, they're not using something, use it with your leg and place it on and grab it. One tape, piece of tape, and just put it. Um, you're gonna place it on in the middle. Okay. Perfect. Now that it's on there, you're gonna want to roll it up again. Like I said, hold it with your foot if you don't have the buddy. And grab a little piece of tape, add it on this side. And then you're going to grab another piece of tape. And you're going to add it in the middle. And for the middle one, you're going to want to take off your foot and hold it with your hand. And now Take, you can take it off and just put it on the other side. A piece of tape. And there you go. You have a stethoscope. And so pretty. And you can see all that stuff. Um, if you guys, if you guys um, actually got to it, um, help you to make a step to go then subscribe and hit the notification and like this so hope you enjoyed your step to go bye